Welcome back to the NASCAR 15 Let's Play, ladies and gentlemen. Right now, I'm about to do race 24 at 36. I'm here at Bristol Motor Speedway here in Bristol, Tennessee, for the running of the Irwin Tools Night Race. So, 100% difficulty. I'll do qualifying in just a minute. Uh, race length is 50, 50 laps. Um, tire wear times one, fuel use times one. Uh, fly rules is cautions, and damage is visual only. Um, I know I'm gonna do bad at Bristol. It's one of my worst racetracks, and I'm ready to wreck a few times, just like I did in the other Bristol race. But in the other Bristol race, uh, wait, no, I finished like poorly. Never mind. Never mind. I don't know. I don't know what I'm talking about. So anyway, let me accept these changes. I know I'm gonna qualify bad, so let me do qualifying real quick, and I will be right back. So I just finished up qualifying here at Bristol Motor Speedway, and I'm gonna tell you what, I was really surprised about this. I made it to the second round, and after the first round, I was the fastest in qualifying. I was first after the first round. Second round, however, um, it, it, it was what it was. It is what it is, you know. Um, I qualified 12th in this race, which that's actually pretty good for me at Bristol, I'm not going to lie to you. So, I will start 12th in this race, but qualifying was just surprising to me, especially in the first round when I was like the fastest in qualifying. So, let's just get on to the pre-race to begin this race here at Bristol Motor Speedway for some night racing. Uh, and here we are at Bristol Motor Wow. Oh, it was like quiet. Holy crap. Never heard Bristol that quiet. So here we are at Bristol Motor Speedway here in Bristol, Tennessee for the Irwin Tools Night Race. Three races left before the chase. So let's see what happens in the final three races before the chase. So AJ Allmendinger starts on the pole. Jimmy Johnson will start second. Joey Lagan will start third. And Ryan Blaney will start fourth. So you got two underdogs in the top four. It's pretty good. There's the fireworks going off here at Bristol Motor Speedway. Nice fireworks, ain't it? And there's the Irwin Tools Night Race winner trophy if you win at Bristol. So let's see if I can do well from 12th. I guarantee you I won't. I'll probably choke in this race. Pace car is off. AJ Armadinger and Jimmy Johnson will lead us down to the green flag. And like I said, I'll start in 12th. And as we're getting ready for 50 laps here at the half mile Bristol Motor Speedway, the green flag is out. We are underway here at Bristol Motor Speedway. Jimmy Johnson leads the first lap of the race. As I have nowhere to go here. Oh, I came down on Kyle Busch. Okay, I uh, somehow saved that. That was awesome. Oh, Kyle is still sideways underneath me. Holy cow. He's got Michael McDowell underneath him, though. Oh, come on, Newman. You gotta hit the gas. Oh, boy. I'm falling back now, which is not surprising. I had a feeling out this was going to happen to me. I thought the outside lane would have been the advantage. It looks like it's not. I got Jeff Gordon underneath me. Three wide up there. Usually does not work at Bristol. Oh, yep, yeah, you see? All right, we're about to wreck. Wow, all right. <laughs> see, that would... Oh, right. oh, I came down on Boyer. Oh, I came down on Boyer. Oh, no. Oh, I told you I'm not going to be here for long. Alright, we're good. Alright, I'm back to three. Oh, never mind. Here we go. Caution's out. I don't know who's that wrecked back there. Uh, yeah. Oh, that's Larson. And he is... Oh, he got hit by Outguyer. He looked like he had a save, but he got hit at the end. I told you I wasn't gonna be up there, and you know what? That was—I don't know if that was my doing. I don't know if I came down on Boyer, or he came up into me. I don't know. It was a racing deal, definitely. I mean, I don't know who to put the blame on. But like I said, I wasn't surprised I was gonna fall back through the field. Let me see how many cars come on the pit road before I make my decision on coming in or staying out. I might come in. You know what? Not a lot of drivers are. A lot of drivers are gonna stay out, and which means I won't gain a lot of track position. So, which means I'm gonna pit. I'm gonna be in last, but 
I shall pit to get fresher tires. I told you I was going to choke. I wasn't going to be in the top 15 that whole race. There was no way. I was already surprised that I was up there after qualifying. So, I knew it wasn't going to be for long. Like I said, I don't know whose fault it is on the Boyer and uh, with myself and Boyer, that incident. I'll look at the video again. But I say it was a racing deal. It was just, and you know, it's Bristol is very tight. You cannot go three wide at this track in this game. It just doesn't work. As you have seen a couple occasions. So here I am on pit row for four tires. I'm going to make a track bar wedge adjustment. And I'll be right back out there. Be in the back of the pack where it's typical of me at Bristol. I'm See, I'm glad I have five wins because, I mean, even if I have a bad race now before the chase, it doesn't matter. So I'll be in the, I'm in the chase anyway. So Jimmy Johnson will restart as the race leader with Ryan Blaine to the outside and I will restart 42nd. Alright. Harvick and Hamlin, McMurray, Michael and Ned, Trevor Bain, and Michael Waltrip were the drivers that hid, including myself. So here we go, coming back to the green flag with 43 laps to go here at Bristol Motor Speedway. And green flag back in the air here at Bristol. Let's see how much track position I can make up. Because I know uh, it'll be... Uh, oh, oh, we have a wreck in the back straightaway. And it was not caused by me. All right. Wow, first... Wow. Oh, Jeff Gordon. What happened? Uh, he came up in the Logano, it looked like. Jeff Gordon around. Casey Mears. Justin Allgaier. Yeah, it looked like Jeff Gordon came up on uh, Logano. Although, to be fair, though, Logano was kind of... Kinda in a tight situation. So it's not like Logano had anywhere to go. So Ryan Blaine's gonna restart as the race leader with Brad Keselowski to the outside. Where, where would I restart? Only one driver pin, that was Jamie McMurray. I'll restart 41st alongside Jeff Gordon. So the pace car is off once again after the second caution, after Jeff Gordon wrecked down the back straightaway. As we're getting set to go back. Uh, where's my car doing? All right, my car is glitching for whatever reason a little bit. All right, green flag back in the air. 41 laps to go here at Bristol. All right. We make it down the back straightaway safely this time. I would love to uh, be on the outside lane, to be honest. So I know they're gonna check up on the inside. Oh, all right. I don't know if I hit Jeff Gordon at all. I don't think I did. I did loosen him up. Alright, I'm in last. I'm not going to race aggressive in this race because I know if I'm going to race aggressive, I'm going to wreck. So, at this racetrack I'm talking about, I'll race aggressive next race at uh, Darlington. For now, not going to happen. I might as well take it easy and accept my poor performance. Oh, Jeff. Oh, I don't like how it was three wide. See, I backed out of that one, or else we would have wrecked. All right, if these guys could fan out a little bit, spread out, we would... All right. Oh, they're four wide up there. Oh, there's going to be a wreck right here. Oh, wow. How are they not wrecking? Look, they're still four wide. They're locked onto each other. There's no way. Yep, here we go. I'm in the air. All right. I had nowhere to go on that. Paul Menard and myself got the worst of that. I went airborne for a second. Ramped off the back of Menard. All right, Menard. I was going to ride the bottom, but I guess you can do that. Oh, man. Now look at me back here. It's all right. I'll see if I can catch up some. I'm going to catch up some because they're gonna ch like th that field is going to continue to check up. See, so yeah, I'm catching up to them again. How was that not a caution, honestly? Oh, turn. I can't get this car to turn. I think I went the wrong way on my adjustments.
Hit the gas! Mmm! There's no way I should be catching up to you like that that fast. Alright, I barely touch Menard and he goes all over the place. That's retarded. And here we go. Oh, nope. They saved it again. How are they not wrecking? That's bizarre. In real life, that would have been five wrecks already. Almost got in the back of Cole Witt there. I'm not going to run here and last the whole entire race, but uh, I'm just not going to be too aggressive right now. I'm just going to take it easy. Well, like I said, I... Not planning to be aggressive in this race. I might have to try it. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm trying to pass Cole Witt. Not working out. Oh, Menard's still sideways up there. We could be going a lap down because Kislaski is catching us. I mean, I'm about almost three quarters of the track behind. Alright, I got that. was my, Now, alright. I saved it. I'm good. I'm fine. That was my fault. I should have went three wide there. If I knew... I mean, they were two wide already. I don't know why I went into that corner and made it three wide. I don't know how I'm going to do at Darlington. That's only... You only go there once every season. So I don't know how I'm going to do well there. Oh, I don't know how well I'm going to do. Maybe I might do well. I did well there on NASCAR 14. And NASCAR inside line, so maybe. Maybe I'll do good there. Oh my god. Alright, just reached the halfway point of this race. Keselowski's still your leader. Alright, that was not my fault. I ha I was up on the outside lane already and Cole Witt was down to the bottom. He came up into me. So can't put blame on that on me. Mmm. See, I told you I wasn't going to be up there in the top 15 after I qualified there. It was not going to happen. Because with how bad the uh, the AIs are at this racetrack, they go full wide, you know it's going to be tight. Alright, let's see if I could get around Michael and Nett. I would like to do that. On the inside of them, down the back straightaway. Alright, I got by him. Nice. So I'm up to 41st. Yippee, right? It's like Keselowski has this in the bag right now. Although this time by for him, it'll be 20 laps to go. So 20 laps to go for Brad Keselowski here at Bristol. And I'm running back in 41st. I have no pressure from behind right now by Annette and Witt. But Keselowski, I can see him back there. He's catching up. I don't want to go a lap down. I've never finished a lap down so far this season. NASCAR 14 is the same way too. I never finished a lap down there. I don't want to start that here. <laughs> Although, like I said, it wouldn't be surprising. Ow. Alright. I got back on the gas too early. That's why I'm wearing these headphones, so I can uh, hear the engines a lot better. So I know when to get on the brakes and when to get back on the gas. Do you think Jeff Gordon will already be in the top 25? Alright. Well, it's Waltrip anyway. I don't care if I bump him out of the way. It's called the Bristol Bumpy Run. Oh. I see they're too wide. I don't want to go three wide on these guys. That would not be good. If they can, if Jeff can pass Regan Smith, that would be great. Or Regan Smith can pass him. So I would like to get some more track position because Kozlowski is coming. Tell you what, that outside lane's not working for me. I might as well just try to save the bomb. All right. Oh, my car is tight. I cannot hold this car right now. Can't even drive this thing in the corners. It's that bad. 
So I'm ready to go to Darlington. Hopefully, I'll do good there. To earn my Darlington stripe. I man, that was tight. I should not have done that, but it worked out anyway. See if I can get by him for 39th. Oh, Jeff, come on. Gotta hit the gas, man. You had a good lead on Regan Smith. All right. Oh, Keselowski's here. All right, my goal is to finish on the lead lap. I got 12 laps to hang on. Get out of my way. Oh, yep, never mind. I won't finish on the lead lap. Oh. Hanging on for, for now. Ten laps to go here at Bristol, nine to go for Keslowski. He's leading the race, and I'm in 42nd. I'm just going to accept my bad performance here at Bristol. And I certainly am not looking forward to Richmond uh, in a couple races because I did poorly there the last time as well. Because that's a short track. Alright, Jeff, I'm sorry. You need to get out of the way because Keslowski's here. That's my goal. I want to finish on the lead lap. I am not... I'm, I am not going to end my streak on finishing on the lead lap. Oh, yep. All right. Caution's out right down the back straightaway. All right. I'm lucky. Well, I won't finish a lap down now. So what happened? Austin Dillon? Oh, Ty Dillon came up in him. Oh, man. Brothers. Brothers getting into each other. I'm going to stay out. There's no reason for me to piss. So Ryan Blaney's going to be the... Oh, I'm in ninth. Oh my gosh, Ryan Blaine, the race leader, I will, and Clint Boyer, second. I'm restarting ninth. I am not going to finish here. I am going to wreck again. I'm going to finish in the back of the pack, somewhere in fo around 40th. It's not going to happen. So here we come down to the green flag. Here, five laps to go here at Bristol Motor Speedway. Green flag back in the air. Oh, yep, here we go. Where that is? Oh, oh, oh! Hamlin, you gotta hit the gas, buddy. Oh, Hamlin's coming back after me. Oh, my goodness. I'm gonna take it easy. I'm not gonna race the crest. I'm not gonna win this race, so I might as well take it easy. If they pass me, at least I'll finish better than where I could have. Yeah, see them pass me up on the outside line? That's the where... That's where they're getting the better runs. Three to go. Oh my gosh, this car is tight. Whew. Oh, my gosh, this car is tight. Yeah, I'm going to finish like 25th or something. Alright, white flag this time, but I am holding up Matt Kenseth. Matt Kenseth even restarted somewhere in the top 15, and I'm help holding him up. Alright, white flag's out. Final lap here, Bristol. Down the best straightaway for the final time. Where am I going to finish? Oh, Clint Boyer will win here at Bristol! And I finish 27th. Alright, it's better than where I could have finished. I could have finished like 40th or something. I took... See, I went from restarting 9th with 5 laps to go to falling back to 27th. Also, most of these drivers have fresher tires as well, so, yeah. And I restarted on the inside lane. There was I couldn't even get up to the outside lane because the outside lane had a better advantage, and I couldn't get up there, so... That's why I said, you know what, I know I'm not going to win this race. I might as well accept getting past on the outside and just finish wherever I'm going to finish. And I did not... Oh, where did Matt Kenseth finish? Oh, okay. I thought he would have finished like somewhere 40th after I put him in the wall off four. I didn't mean to put him in the wall, honestly. Uh, I saw him on the outside lane, and yet my car kept sliding up the racetrack. It was tight, it was tight. I'm trying to stay off of Matt Kenseth, and then Paul Menard got underneath me. No, Michael McDowell got under underneath me, and that was it from there. So I didn't mean to get into uh, Matt Kenseth. I was just tight. So let's look at the race results here from Bristol. Clint Boyer wins the Irwin Tools Night Race at Bristol Motor Speedway. A.J. Armendinger second. Ryan Blaney third. David Gillen fourth. Joey Logano fifth. Carl Edwards sixth. Austin Dillon seventh. Ricky Stenhouse eighth. 
Jimmy Johnson ninth, and Montrose Jr. rounds up the top ten. So even after Austin Dillon uh, brought up the last caution, uh, he finished seventh. Wish I can do that. Uh, Kevin Harvick eleventh, Kyle Busch twelfth, Ryan Newman fourteenth, Greg Biffle fifteenth, Danica Patrick eighteenth, and Casey Mears rounds up the top twenty. Jamie McMurray twenty first, Kurt Busch twenty second, Josh Wise twenty fourth, Jeff Gordon twenty fifth. I finished twenty seventh, better than where I could finish. Like I said, around the fortieths. So. I'm happy. I'm kind of happy with 27. You know? Brad Keselowski, 28th, led the most laps, but then the caution came out at the wrong time. He was leading with a few laps to go. Could have won this race. And, uh, yeah, doesn't happen. He finishes 28th. Paul Menard rounds up the top 30. 31st, Matt Kenseth, Chase Elliott, 32nd, Danny Hamlin, 33rd, Case Kane, 34th, David Reagan, 35th, and Kyle Larson rounds up the top 40. 41st is Brian Vickers, 42nd is Dale Knight Jr., and Michael Annette finishes last in 43rd. So, let's check uh, the point standings with two races left before the chase. 2014 All-Star Race, that happens to be Jamie McMurray. Most junior fans would be like Dale Knight Jr. 2010 NASCAR Pit Crew Challenge, that would be Denny Hamlin. Oh, yeah. Alright, so point standings. With two races left before the chase, Kevin Harvick has a 21-point lead over Tony Stewart. I am still third in points. I didn't lose any ground. I think I actually gained ground, to be honest. No, I don't, no, I didn't. Never mind. I didn't lose any. I didn't gain or lose any points positions. But I am uh, 34 points behind Kevin Harvick. That's all right. It doesn't really matter until the chase starts. Uh, Kyle Busch rounds up the top five in points. Clint Boyer with the win tonight is ninth in points. Um, yeah, ninth in points. And Matt Kenseth rounds up the top ten points. So between first through tenth is separated by 112 points. So the next race is going to be at Darlington Raceway in Darlington, South Carolina. For the running of the Southern 500. Should be a good race. Bojangles. Bojangles Southern 500. You know. Right? I believe that's... I, I wonder if that if they're keeping that event name. Anyway, it'll be up in the title anyway, so who knows. Alright, so anyway. So, who will earn their Darlington stripes? Go to Victory Lane. Hopefully it better be me. So, I will see you at Darlington.